Good afternoon, YouTube. This is just a quick little audio test of two different mic setups. Uh, the current audio you're listening to is from what is called a shotgun mic, which is right on top of this camera. Uh, this mic I've been using for the last few months, it's called the MKE 400 by Sennheiser. Uh, it's comparable in quality to some of the Rode mics I had before, like the Video Mic Pro. Uh, but basically this is the setup I use for, I don't know, 95% of all the YouTube stuff I've ever done. Uh, the 5% might be like a lavalier mic, which goes under your shirt. Th those are helpful for interviews with two people sometimes, but they're kind of a pain to set up. So most of the time when I'm vlogging or even when I'm doing an at-home sit-down video, I will have this mic on top. Um, and as you can probably hear, the, the audio gets worse as I'm further apart from the source, which is the camera itself. So if I'm right up close, you can hear it usually pretty crispy. The audio gets better. Uh, there are advantages to this type of microphone, like it, it focuses on the person in front. And if there was someone talking behind the camera or something, like you would barely hear anything. Um, but I have recently purchased uh, this Shure MV, I'm so bad with names. Is this, is this the MV, these are the MV7, which uh, was released by Shure in 2021. Um, and it's sort of a, I mean, Shure has a long history of making epic podcast and interview mics. Uh, this was released um, as a more budget-friendly option, but still is very highly regarded in the, the YouTube space. So I'm gonna switch the audio over to this, and I'm gonna give you a comparison, and myself a comparison, <laughs> of how it sounds. And let's do that switch right now. And here we go. Okay, so here is the new microphone. Um, I'm holding it in my hand, which I normally wouldn't be doing. I mean, I guess maybe I could do that for like comedic effect or something, but um, typically I'd be using uh, a table or something in front of me. Actually, I see a table I can use right now. Let's, oh yeah, super professional. Here we go, here we go. This is what you watch for. Oh yeah, you can just barely see it, can't you? But I could easily adjust that and then this would be the kind of quality you get uh, with the mic just out of view. And so this is what it would sound like if I wanted to have the same illusion as the shotgun mic, which is on top. Um, the illusion that you're not thinking about audio, you're just seeing me and I'm talking. Um, but the mic is still close enough that hopefully the audio won't be too bad. But to give a clearer example, if I actually didn't just ra grab a random table and do this on the fly, if I had a proper setup and the mic were approximately six inches from uh, my mouth, you would be able to get this kind of quality. And you should be hearing a dramatic difference from the on-camera shotgun mic uh, that I was showing you before. In theory, this is more of a radio voice and there's different settings on this mic. You can actually adjust it to be deeper or to be softer. Like there's a lot of different modes you can get into. Um, but for the moment, this is just the auto setting. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not changing any settings. I'm not adjusting any of this on my computer uh, because what I'm looking for is a simple solution to get slightly better sounding audio than I had before. And as you can see, like if I'm further away or not from the camera, it doesn't matter anymore because I have flexibility with this mic. It's not stuck on the camera. And so hopefully this will allow me to do some at home seated content where I'm a bit further away. And you can also let me know if you think it is a distraction to see the mic in the camera or not. It is more of like a podcast type setup, but I know a lot of the time these days when I listen to YouTube or watch YouTube, uh, I just kind of gave it away by saying, listen, I, yeah, I'm not even watching half the time. Uh, I might be doing the dishes or something and I will 
be playing a YouTube video and I will be listening to what the person has to say. And then if something interesting is happening, then I will start watching. <laughs> but uh, a lot of the time I'm just there for information. And I thought if I want to do some information based content, it could be cool to have a better mic set up. So people have the best possible listening experience. Hopefully you don't hear much of an echo in the background or anything like that. And uh, I think, I hope this mic will be a big step in the right direction. Uh, if you want to get technical and you want to learn more about this mic or the other mic I mentioned or anything that I use, check the description and uh, let me know what you think about the new audio. Let me know if it sounds better if I get right up close. Uh, obviously that's going to be more of the radio sound that I was talking about. I don't anticipate myself being this close to the mic in uh, my daily usage but something like this I think uh, if I can get a good sounding audio out of this and then the mic is just on the bottom of the frame of my camera shot I think that'll be pretty good so let's see how it sounds